Hello, Yu-Gi-Oh! and TCG enthusiasts, and welcome back to yet another Yu-Gi-Oh! testing. Well, I have decided to go back to yet another of one of my favorite decks that we've done a past testing for, but I have really been wanting to get back into this deck and try it out in the modern format of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, let's check out the deck. And that deck is none other than Ad Ignisters, or I. This is still one of my favorite decks just because its big mon boss monster is just a nuisance to try to out. He's annoying, he's a nuisance to try to out, and his, his deck is just so much fun. So let's uh, see how well we do. But before then, let's just do the uh, breakdown of the deck. Triple Peril Exceed, one um, Kachari, one Damari, Triple Pakari, Double Doan, one Buru, Triple Ash, Double Aichi, Triple Aichi, one Hiari, Triple Effect Veiler, one Eye Contact, Triple Eye Meet You, Triple Silent Mining. All our guys are um, Cyber, so this is really good. One Part of Desires, I don't really want to pay any more than one in this deck. We play so little amounts of the starters in this deck, so I really just don't want to play more, but feel free to play another one if you do. One Terraforming if we happen to get outed by Dark Infinite to get our field spell, so Terraform to get our field spell. One Upside Goblin, we need to draw our cards. We need to see our starters. Idol Reborn, Called by the Grave, Cosmic, two so Cosmic Cyclone, Triple of the Agonister, Island. This is the entire synergy of the deck. And then Triple Infinite Impermanence. For the extra deck, we are playing one Wind Pegasus, one Light Dragon, one The Arrival, one Dark Templar, one uh, decode talker heat soul double transco talker one update jammer for the otks one security dragon double splash mage one cypress wick kid double dark infant and one lingribo for the side we are playing triple nibiru to deal with any decks that like to uh go wide on their first turn alongside of course triple cross out designator because we don't like nibiru either uh, double Lightning Storm, one Harpy's Feather Duster, triple Evenly, and triple Anti Spell Fragrance. And with that, let's get into the game and see if I can still remember the combos. All right, folks, so here we are. So we want to be going first because we want to set up the arrival. I'm going to go Rock here on our opponent. Let's see what he chooses. Let's hope Scissors. Because if we do, we can set up a rival, and that's kind of what I want to happen. I want to be able to set up a rival. Okay, two Rocks. Let's go scissors. I bet he's gonna go paper. The mind games, the rock, paper, scissors, kids. The mind game. No, he's gonna go rock. Okay. Well, I mean, he gets to choose here. That's not bad. Actually, this is very good. We actually physically got everything we needed. IG to get us the light. We have I meet you to get us the light if we need it. We have the field spell. Reasoning. You know what, I'm gonna Ash Reasoning. I just don't want him to mill. I'm not even sure how many copies of Reasoning we can have in the TCG. All right, so he's either gonna look at my hand or draw two. He drew two, okay. I mean, I was afraid he might have something. I think Reasoning is like a, a limited card in the TCG. I know it's unlimited in Master Duel. But I mean, it, it was a tough choice. Pot of Desires to draw two more. Okay. That would have been the card to, to hit with an Ash, but still. Allure Darkness now. Man, this man just wants to draw all the cards. It'd be hilarious, though, if he didn't have a Dark to banish and all that went to the melee to the graveyard. DD Orthos. Is he playing a, almost a 60 card DD deck? Two more. Well, it immediately didn't go... All those didn't immediately go to his graveyard, so he still has darks he can summon. That's a Raiden now. Okay. Necro Slime. No, that's not Necro Slime. Which one is that? This is... No, that's Swirl Slime. That's Swirl Slime. Necro Slime is the, uh, the skull with the red, the red uh, slime monster. I played this deck enough in my life. 
Funny enough, DD was one of the first decks when um, the new format dropped, when Format 5 dropped, was one of the first decks I actually picked up. Don't ask me why I picked up a combo heavy um, DD deck, but it was one of the first decks I did pick up. Uh, DD Lamia. He's got DDD playing King Genghis. Lamia really only works if he can get a Dark Contract up. You want to have a Dark Contract up for Lamia so she can trigger her effect. I don't even know how many DD decks even play Lamia anymore. I don't know how many DD decks are even 50 card decks. Man, maybe it's a good thing I hit that reasoning. Not realizing what it is. Like, realizing what the deck is now. A second. DDD King Fleet Genghis. Okay. Ah. Not sure why we need two of them, but okay. That's Synchro. No, that's gonna go into the uh, Link Monster. Now he's gonna pay a thousand life points to set scales. Let's hope he didn't, like, banish all the good scales. Uh, DDD Flame King Genghis grabbing, um, DDD Flame King Genghis. I mean, it is a hard once per turn to use its effect, so he can't off the second Flame, Kang Flame Genghis, can't summon another Flame Genghis. But he does have two sixes to overlay. Alright, sir. Set your scales. I think DDD Orthos is one of them they like to do. Okay, so he's gonna go save it, Thomas, and he's gonna go Griffin. I'm surprised he didn't go into um, Ragnarok. So that's gonna XYZ. DDD Highway King Caesar. All right, so I have to be concerned now. Because this will negate um, my Agnes or I land. Because my I land does have the effect to special summon. Hmm. And it is on monster effects as well, but it's on monster effects as special summon. Okay. There are ways to get me two islands. Okay. Let's start with this. Normal summon, Aichi. Aichi to get a uh, Picari. I need the uh, I need the yellow. Cause Buru comes out a different way. Yeah, that ain't happening, son. Get that thing out of here. Doan comes. Oh, I can get Doan from. Um, Picari gets me a spell. I do need the Picari, so let's get the Picari. Because I have the ability to get Doan. We'll go to Dark Infant. Dark Infant, get me the field spell. Okay. In essence, I'm safe here. Unless Wave Caesar is not at once per turn. A debate effect. Okay, he's not going to trigger. Summon, activate Picari. We will get Idol Reborn. From this position, we go to Cypher's Wick Kid. I feel like I'm messing up my combo line right now. I should have gotten Picari off of that. No. Yeah, because I have to special summon a guy to hit the hit field to get Boo Roo. Activate. I meet you. We're not going to trigger either of those. 
I'm gonna show Dar Templar. Get a Dolwan. Yeah, because I special summon and then I can get Buru off of this. Because I can chain specifically. No. So I'm taking so long, folks, to talk through all this, but I have to, like, mentally remember how all my combos work. Yes. I need Wicked to be Chain Link 1, because I definitely need Buru. Need to banish that. Chain Link 2 to Doan. I need to get Aichi, because it's the one I haven't summoned off the field spell yet. I get Buru. We go... Transco Talker. Activate the effect of Doan to get I Meet You back. Then we have to go the field spell first. It's important that you go the field spell first and you do not put Buru where uh, Transco Talker is. Buru effect ascends. You send to the graveyard to Damari for his effect negation. Then we activate Transco Talker. Shoot. Oh, he's gonna... Okay, so he's actually gonna stop my Transco Talker here. It's not what I wanted. That also kills my Transco. Okay. So we lost Transco Talker now. I'm not sure if we can get from this position. I mean, we could still make Wind adding Mr. Pegasus, but I can't. Yeah, I knew this wasn't a hard once per turn. It's a once per chain. Yeah, I won't be able to resolve. Okay, um, from this place, we're gonna take 2300, and then he just hits us with everything he's got here. I'm gonna surrender game one to him. Let's go to game two. All right, um, I don't really wanna take anything out. We're going first, game two, but I do want these. I'm gonna take out the imperms, put this in, and I think, because he may have Ash or he may have Nibiru. Hmm, this is tough. Um. So I really kind of like to protect myself against certain... You know what? We're going to go with that. What's the chances he has Nibiru? What are the chances? He has a humongous deck, first off. He's nearly a 60-card deck. Like, what are the chances he can get anything? He's got something he can start off here, which is annoying. Aichi. Aichi effect. I have to get Bakari. And watch me get ashed. No, okay. Bakari. This normally stops the entirety of the combo. The hard hitting point to ash is on the infinite, dark infant, is the aspect that it does hurt me. Okay. He had something to start the turn. He would have drawled after I added off the Bakari to stop me altogether. What does he have? He would have summoned Ghost Ogre to knock me down off the field. Unless he's got a Ghost Ogre now for the field spell. Bakari to get uh, I Meet You. Let's go, I meet you. 
Yeah, and if he had Ash, he would have triggered it on the Aichi to stop the entirety of the combo, or on the Dark Infant, and force me to have the field spell. I'm gonna show him the Dark Templar. That gets me Doe on. And again, I won't be taking the 2300 because I'll be making the Dark Templar in the combo, so... Typically, you show, like, the fire or the light to get Picari or Aichi, depending on what you need to start your combo line. We are not summoning Parallax. No, we're not summoning Parallax. Parallax would be my uh, turn three play against him. Okay, so next up, we go into Islands to summon Doan. Trigger two effects, chain link one, whip kid. Not mentioning that he wouldn't be having a timer show up if he had Nibiru. He, that's way too early for Nibiru trigger. Uh, we're going to add Aichi to the hand because it's the one we haven't summoned off the island yet. Ah, boo boo. I mean, he could Nibiru here. Stop my combo dead in my tracks. Make me mad that I didn't put my, uh, didn't decide to put at least the one Nibiru in and the one, um, at least maybe two of, uh, Cross of Designator. I mean, if this man had Nibiru, why not would you just drop it now? If you know what I'm about to do, Transco Talker, Transco Talker. Summon, Buru summon to the board. I need to put him over here. Go Dark Templar with Wicked and Transcode because that makes it. Because I just need, oh, I need three monsters with different names. Right, I think if I do Buru. I don't make Splash Mage at that point. I, oh, no, no, I... No, I thought I summoned... You go Uru. Why am I... Why am I blanking what you do after Transcode? It's Transcode, bring back Cyber's Wick Kid. Cyber's Wick Kid. Then I think those three have to go into Dark Templar, and I then I think Dark Templar brings back Buru, right? And then Buru, and then two make into um. All right. Well, uh, he gave the timer up. We know he's playing um a Pacific deck strategy, so I'm gonna put these two in because nuking the board and nuking. His face is important. Uh, evenly matched. Let's let's just play pure aggression here. And this duck does play quite a lot of guys. And with that, I am going to put at least one cross out designator in the deck because of the fact just to protect myself against Nibiru and protect myself against Ash. I, I don't know why I'm blanking. How after you get the transco talker. Where you go. Because it's Cyber's Wick Kid. Unless I'm missing something that you do with Cyber's Wick Kid. Because you don't summon Aichi until you go to the into the uh, the Templar. Because then you'll go into Add, wi add Wind in Mr. Pegasus. Trigger Buru's effect there. Buru summons himself to the board. Summons the guy you use for that. Then you take those two to make Splash Mage. Splash Mage summons someone back out. Then that person... Oh my gosh, what is the combo line after that? I know for a fact we need to go to the second Dark Infant, so Dark Infant will move one. No, no, that's right, that's right. You don't trigger... 
you don't trigger the Templar until you have played. So what you do is you go Black Templar, summon him. Then you go Aichi, Aichi, or whatever one you haven't brought off off the field spell yet. You go Aichi there. Aichi comes out on whatever one comes out of the field. You make again another Dark Infant. Then you trigger the effects of Black Templar Chain Link 1, Dark Infant Chain Link 2. Dark Infant moves one. Then Black Templar will summon three guys. Okay, so the only piece we are missing is Aichi. But we did get Nibiru as well, so we can Nibiru aboard presence here. But yeah, that's how we have to do it. So yeah, you do take Buru to make Dark Templar. Then you go whoever you need to go off the field spell. Typically make Dark Templar over here. Over here, so then, then you can go um, Dark Infant. Because what Dark Infant can do is when you activate a... Um, right here. When a Cyber monster with 2300 or more original attack activates its effects, quick effect, um, you move it to where the arrow points. Zone corresponding. This card's main monster zone... This card points to. So that's why you have to make Dark Templar over here. So that you can go Dark Templar, make Dark Infant. Dark Infant move over here. Then Chain Link 1, Dark Templar, Chain Link 2, Infant. Infant will change its uh, typing to like Divine. So that you, again, you have like five different typings on the board to make um, the arrival. Then you bring out um, at least Buru and you bring out Force. So it'd be like Aichi and um, Hikari. You go Buru and one of your fours, so your I, your Akari, your Picari, you make the Wind Pegasus. Wind Pegasus over here. Then Buru triggers because he was sequel summoned to make it out of Mr. Monster. You bring back Picari. Picari, Aichi, go into Splash Mage. Splash Mage summons someone back. Then these five will go into the um the rifle. And our opponent has decided to be so kind as to us and give us the game. I guess he just couldn't take the Attic Nisters. Well, I know we didn't have the greatest testing for this deck here, but we did show off a little bit of the combos. Um, we lost game one because I couldn't get through the uh, DD Wave King Caesar. We did show off the combos with game two. I think my opponent, Troopa Topai, was going to need to scoop it up there because the fact is there was no way for... I have... Unless he somehow can get like up to 6k, yeah, there's no way for him to remove the arrival. Like zero possibilities for him to even remove the rival in any conceivable way let me know your thoughts on ad agnister i know we talked about the combos here in the late game but let me know all your thoughts agnister have you played it have you played against it and all of that and make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you can know five my videos go live for you and we'll see you here next time on mama dragons tcg